Hey guys, it's Tick here, coming at you with my minty fresh gaming skills and knowledge. And welcome back to Vampire. I'm still down here, and that's okay. <laughs> See, I'm, yeah, I'm wanting to go this way. Oof. Oh, right, I can get back up really easily. I don't know why I said that. I guess I'm just really used to Dark Souls. Not like I'm good at Dark Souls, but, like, I'm used to it. What sort of creature Can I please? This? Ha! Get wrecked, motherfucker. It's freaking three levels above me. Who'd have knew I'd be fighting a werewolf? Ah. Because that's the only thing I could assume this would be. Ah! Oh, I have healing. Nice. No, hell yeah. I can't believe I pulled that off, honestly. Starting off this episode with a boss fight. That's pretty cool. Both of them just right into this guy's face. Pa! Pa! Rich blood yes, left of if you're sick, if you have no money, whomever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrescu's house and present this coupon. I can only Some assume. For a free check up in what is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Okay then, well then, that's fun I guess. That was intense. Oh. I can't believe I actually won that first try. I'm pretty good. Let's see what's up here. Shotgun shells, nice, I needed those. Citizens to save. Okay, careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Okay, claustrophobia. Oh, here, claustrophobia. Uh, what is that? Again, this one? Wrong target. Claustrophobia. Details. Yeah, let's track it. Go down here. Barely hit me, and I'm just barely alive. Don't die here. I see the sky. Feel the fresh air. 
I'm alive. Up all that matters. I, I think resting might heal me as well. So I think I might end up doing that soon. Hello, sir. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Goodbye. He will return to his district the following night. Okay, cool. Blackmail in Whitechapel. I need to get to Whitechapel now. Right? Oh, I don't know where that'd be. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll go find it. This way? Can I go get out to here? Oh. Did I actually go the right way? Probably not. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Man, loading screens, man. Uh, I made a joke about them being almost as bad as Skyrim, but that's that's not true. <laughs> If you ever played Skyrim on like any console, really, except for like the newer ones, like PS4 and Xbox One, it's it's not it's not nearly that bad at all. Where am I? I actually don't know where I am. North Docks. That's the hospital. Meaning I'm in not Whitechapel. So let's go to Whitechapel. Oh, I need up there to go to Whitechapel. Okay. That's great. Can I just like push this guy off? I don't want to fight him. I can't push him off. I'm sad. Just knock him out. <laughs> Alright, I think I might go rest and evolve really quick. Level up a little bit. You're a dick. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Oh, Reed. Right, hello. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And yeah, why man. is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Hmm. Sure. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, you cut me good. <laughs> that man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he <laughs> shit himself. <laughs> fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. <laughs> what did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor arsehole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Maybe right. Perhaps you're right. Maybe only the strongest will survive in these dark times. If there must be only one, in the end, make no mistake, I'll be the winner. Okay, back one. How's your hospital? How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. You'll be treated fine. Treated fine. What's wrong? with the Pembroke staff. That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude. I like that. <laughs> What's okay. wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and 
dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. You're a dick. I'm sure nobody would miss you if you I murder you. The law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. Okay. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the mm. Wet Boot Boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Bye, Dickweed. Alright. To White Cat Chapel? No, not White Chapel. To my room so I can level up a little bit. Because I have two almost 3,000 XP. So, it's definitely worth leveling up right now while I'm here. Have the chance. So, onwards to my bed. Why is this door open? All of a sudden. Oh, can I just like hop up here from down there? Because that'd be way more convenient than running up those fucking stairs. It's so slow. Shadow Mist, Blood Sphere. I like Blood Sphere, it's pretty good. Coagulation, blood, blah, 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 spring. Hmm. I don't have ultimate moves yet. That's fine. Hmm. Let me increase my stamina. And that's 300. I could do a couple more 300 ones. Blood cap. No, I'm good on that. Uh, actually, maybe. Carry three serums on you. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Right now, I think I'll just... I'll, I'll get these few 300s and then maybe another ability. And then, what, Shadow Mist? Uh, no. Oh, I could do this. Upgrade this. For 1300? Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm sure this is 1300 as well, right? 2,000, holy shit. I mean, I could pay for it, but no thanks. Making defenseless. Okay, what kind of like attack is this though? The cost is zero, nothing. Oh wait, it just slows him down. So 600 for that shit, hell yeah. Oh, I'm level eight now, great. And maybe one more. I know I have three abilities technically, but one hits absorbed. No. Nah. Uh, 1400. I like. This is a 2002. 1300. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. I could get this. For three seconds, though? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. What is this? 2000. Oh, that's unfortunate. This is also 1300, isn't it? Yeah. I'll take that. Wait, no, I don't want to cancel those. Whoops. Confirm. There we go. Following night. Cool. Okay. Every night, the consequence of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It may also be degraded due to diseases. Okay. Cure with anema syrup. That's meningitis. Okay. Okay, cool. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It's district's big. Okay. Loretta, Swansboro. Okay. Healthy, 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 healthy. Health. Headache. Treatment for headache. Right. Okay. Healthy. 
Clay Cox. Okay. Help me, help me, help me. Thomas Owen. Help me, help me. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Stable. Serious cripple. Okay, cool. Oh, sweet. Unknown. Unknown, unknown. Okay, so there are only three more people I need to go... Four more people I need to go find. And so that should be really easy, and I can cure the fatigue and headache. Okay, cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze me. I think I'm gonna go do those, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, fatigue. Anema. Sepsis. I'm gonna use bronchitis for cold. What? Oh, do I not? I don't know these? Fuck. Whatever, I can cure the fatigue, which I will go do right now. I have to go talk to Clay again. Dickhead! Where are you? Wasn't he right out here somewhere? Oh, this is the wrong way. Zoop! Alright, so I can definitely do that. Lady Ashbury, unknown. 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 Belma. Oh, I was looking for the stairs, but sometimes I'm bad. Okay. This way. Down the stairs. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go talk to this unknown guy. These unknown guys? There's one non unknown guy. Hey, friend. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Mm. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Thanks, man. Uh, we'll just talk to him. Uh, maybe. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning <laughs> blood transfusion, Dr. You already Reed. said that, sir. <laughs> on my own experiments, I'm convinced it's the future. What made you mm -hmm. choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Sweet. Good for you. I'm glad to help you. Research is exhausting. <laughs> it's always no. a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic cool. may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. True. Tell me about your experience. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories at first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, mm -hmm. you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. It is. Hands down. Easy peasy, man. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work mm. with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite, you optimistic. Seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain mm. about our capacity to resolve the situation. True. Mm -hmm. True. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need mm. help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. True. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Cool. Uh, that one? Personal question? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. 
I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Mm -hmm. sure. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse <laughs> Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping mm. his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Mm. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. Mm -hmm. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because mm. of his own negligence. Alrighty then. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Onwards. To more people? No. I lied. Not more people. I need to go do this. I'm going to stop talking to people for a moment and we'll further the story more by going and whooping some ass, hopefully. Let's see, really quick. To get there, just, okay, easy peasy. Oh, trash. Yeah. A lead stick and a screw from a trash can. Don't know how those things got there, but they did. Alright, hopefully I won't have my ass handed to me this time. I'm closer to all these dickheads level, so... <laughs> Eleven. Jesus. Ten. Okay, then. Closer. If I... Don't fuck with them, maybe they won't murder me. Right? Right? That's a fair assumption, right? I need... Okay, let's step away. Let me by. Can I, like... Fuck it, I'm just gonna kill these guys. Like... Pa! 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 Fuck that guy. Come on, one more. Stab him again. And... Boom, perfect. I want to fucking attack that guy. Where did you even come from, dude? I have one shot. Why are you attacking me, though? Like, I honestly didn't do anything to you. I just got close. Oh, right. <sighs> Oh my god, I have to kill this guy. Ow, stop shooting me, asshole. high resistance to fucking melee. Oh shit. One more. One more. Ha <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, I can barely believe I beat that guy. He's tough as hell. But he also had a huge fucking res to melee. And a fairly large one to even friggin' ranged. White Chapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Large box of pills. Okay, though. And shotgun shells. Nice. I needed those. And hide out, hopefully somewhere. Oh, right here. Calling it. Right here? No. Well, that's unfortunate. that about? I couldn't use my vampire senses. Is that a baby crying? God. What? Mm. What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical report says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. He has bronchitis. That's unfortunate for him. No, oh, just watch him. Can I like get through? Ish. I just wanted to go through his house. <laughs> no good at home. I can't jump up there. It's locked. I know where he is. That doesn't help me, though. Trash. There we go. Is there any way over this? Or through this? Any way at all? I like. Oh. Details. There we go. Right, and he has bronchitis. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe I have to find somewhere closer. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Okay, I'm then. interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic. Actually, I am. Then you have come to hmm. the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Hmm. Huh. Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure mm. to meet a fellow healer. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. <sighs> Perhaps we'll talk again. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. When science fails you. All right, so she deals in snake oil. That's always a wonderful fucking thing to have during an epidemic. Its effectiveness has been proven. Oh yes, I'm sure it has. Look, how the fuck do I get in there? That's all I need. That's all I would like. Why is this the way it's got to be? Dude, I'm just trying to find a way into that place where I'm not actually supposed to be at all. 
Is that so wrong? I know what I gotta do, game. You don't gotta keep telling money. me that. Hmm. I cannot enter. There's an opening from the side. Can I jump then? Leap up there? No. Huh. I was not expecting a roadblock like this. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Oh. I thought I saw a face and it spooked me. Gave me a mild scurr. Ugh. Yeah. I just like... Hmm. How do I get over? I can only assume this is the right place. There's nothing... How do I do the thing? Oh, what the fuck? Why do I have to press triangle? I'm so confused. Oh, what are you doing, Dorothy? Strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect Ooh. some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. What are you up to, Dorothy? I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Hmm. It's locked, all right. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Kevin. Why don't I just talk to both? Joe, please, I don't have your money. Clayton. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Oof. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan <laughs> Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought myself. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the okay. Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So you're not exactly <sighs> a part of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns hmm. should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do okay. you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. <laughs> That's what happened when you let a woman get involved in politics. Okay then. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Okay then. Find Clayton in the area. Are you Clayton? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar yep. with this part of town? No, Name's I'm not. Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Cool. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. Mm -hmm. What do you know about it? 
Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not mm. just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. Hmm. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Hmm. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Mizakot, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. Mm. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Cool. Well, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Cool. Find the mailbox and the letter. Oh shit! I didn't even realize these motherfuckers were here! Back here, Richard. I can only in assume you're Richard. Nithercott. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which hmm. I cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Hmm. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Okay, then. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. Come here. At first, I thought he was only a small Come, cat. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Though communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Okay, then. Thank you, sir. I'll leave you alone, sir. Alright, and I would like to find the mailbox and the letter. This way. Cool. Uh, he said the nearest mailbox. And so I can... This one. <laughs> My dearest, most beloved children, I'm so sorry you have not heard from me in a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may, may sound selfish and silly when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war, but there is also a war going on here in England, a war against poverty and against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. And this is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That problem means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up by now, and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one I must take, make now to feel useful one more time. 
I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me, and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petrescu. The content Whatever. of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Yep. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Okay, onwards. <sighs> Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Mm. Level two required. Okay, Sir, cool. Wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, hmm. Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe wait. in providing medical care without charge. Is that? You uh, know what we have to reference to Doctor to Strange. A better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Cool. So I didn't have to like abuse it. Just steal blatantly five shillings. Just blatantly steal from him. I will. I don't give a fuck. Just barely steal everything in the house. Okay, cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, I'm not reading that. That's that's for far it's too long. Locked, all right. oh, I could probably, like, find the code for that and just steal it. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Where is Dorothy? Oh. oh, she's upstairs. Okay. I need help. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Rasvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull! Hand me that skull! What can I do, mm. doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None at all. Mm -hmm. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... 
first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? Ooh. We're losing him. This is pretty... He lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Freaking... Epinephrine? Uh... I don't think we'll have epinephrine. Now. Cardiac... What? Are you making this up as you go along? Oh, shit. Am I that bad? Epinephrine... I'm... We didn't even have a, an aesthetics. So, like, why would we have... Epinephrine? Shit. <laughs> I bet that could have turned out differently. Oh, my God. We've lost the pulse. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Hmm. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I feel like he still would have died, but... I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Mm -hmm. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Hint required. Oh, fuck. I could just kill her. I don't want to kill her, though. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital. That's awful. And provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then? No, just privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Hmm. Oh, cool. My mesmerized level went up. Do I have to murder you all? Because I fucking will. Oh my god. Holy shit. They're everywhere. What the fuck? Come on. 
Fuck you, dickhead. There's that guy from the target. Can you please fucking... Oh, I shouldn't have used that on him. Whatever. I'll kill them all. I'm okay with that. I could have just freaking ate that guy from or, uh, up above, you know? You know what I'm talking about. The guy who died while in surgery. friend. <laughs> Just shoot him. That that was definitely the way to handle that, I I guess. Oh shit. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna have to end this episode here. No, I'm good. Never mind. I'll I'll get back to the, the hospital first. Where am I? I actually don't know. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, how do I, how am I gonna get back? Oh, I know, I know how I'm gonna get back. Okay. God, this map is fairly large. And again, not expecting an open world game from this, from this game. <laughs> I really do wish I could equip a top hat. That'd be dope. Is this the right way? It is the right way. Oh god, I'm so fucking smart. Aluminum powder. No, 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 Yeah. Human blood. Dead inside. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Yep. Well then. Oh, what's up there? Like, actually, what's up there? Oh. Oh, well then. New hideout. Hells yeah. Okay then. Uh, let's see. I can upgrade something. Could I? Could I? Could, could I? Oh, right here. Yeah, upgrade the damage. Nice. Or this. Okay, I'll upgrade the damage, because, like, the stamina's nice and all, but... Oh, wait, I can level it up again, right? Maybe this? Maybe? Use machete, common... Okay, let's see. For a common machete. Can I level up more? Oh, no, I can't. It can only reach a certain level cap. Okay. Oh my god, that would be amazing. And then decrease the stamina consumption and it deals more damage. 
Increased damage dealt. Okay. Shit. Increased blood absorption. That's it. Aluminum powder. I don't have any aluminum powder. But that's dope. I think I'll equip that. Uh, in... No. This one. Common hacksaw. Hell yeah. We'll see how good it is as well. I'm at 1600 XP. Ooh. Okay. And I might switch back to the pistol because I'm running out of shotgun shells and I have a bunch of pistol ammo. So that's pretty good. Hmm. That's t those are each 2000. That's probably a lot. Arrows, blood capacity, big thirst. Fast regen. Okay. Um, could level this up again, apparently, for 300. How much was it to upgrade this, though? Isn't it? Thir it's 1300, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll upgrade this and then go upgrade the other one since I'm here. Cool. And then upgrade this one. 6,000, 6, 1,000, 1,000, 15, 15. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright, cool. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Confirm. Jesus. Alright, well then. I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, come back, check it out, I guess. But you really should. Oh, feudal police raids in Whitechapel. As of late, the rumors just surrounded Whitechapel are ripening into facts. In the last three months, the police have suspected this trip to imposing what might be the heart of London's medical black market. But of course, these suspicions will remain assumptions, for no task force or additional police presence has been sent to Whitechapel. No large drug stocks have been found, nor no crime lords arrested. This masquerade has only been planned as a desperate attempt to conceal the blatant incompetence of the London City Council's Board of Health. By giving the populace a cheap and easy victory, while well, the epidemic spreads more and more each day. Worst of all, when you take some take time to review the most recent statistics, you discover that the distri district of Whitechapel is coping with disease much better than other any than other parts of the city. Is it a miracle? Evidence of the activity of an illegal but of efficient medical underground? More proof of the authorities' criminal incompetence? All I know is this. If a Londoner has a better chance to survive the epidemic by choosing to live in this godforsaken borough, I am ready to move to any cheap, flea-infested, flat some shady landlord will agree to rent me. Right now. Okay, then. Alright, well then. All of these guys have, like, some fucking thing wrong. I need to go look at all of them. Whatever. Major event. Okay then. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Go check out our group content, because it's probably better than this. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye